I thought I'd share a video what I've learned this week about um, heat shielding for your headers. Um, <clears throat> most of the products you can find in America are going to be like what heat shield products offers, um, which is aluminum perf um, embossed metal with like a ceramic fiberglass backer on it. Um, there's some sort of adhesive on the aluminum that bonds it. And this stuff will, um, you can compress it quite a bit. Um, definitely good for normally aspirated. I, I don't know about handling the heat of turbos. Um, being aluminum, you can, Pretty much almost just crumple this up so you can make complex bends and curves I did this within like 15 minutes tonight um, they sell what this package here was they have some special wire that can handle really high heat uh, what do they say 2400 degrees intermittent um, I also used um, just the stainless straps like you would use on the regular titanium exhaust wrap. Um, super easy to conform and bend, make complex shapes. Works good. What I learned just tonight, um, on a cast manifold, you don't want to fully encapsulate it. Um, the manifolds need the ability to shed that heat, at least cast manifolds. The regular, you know, aftermarket tubular manifolds don't have that same issue. Um, I spent a long time <clears throat> making this it has the same insulation under it but I took a sheet of perforated stainless and the deal with this I'll show you on this little piece here so I've got a, a little bit of a bend in it and if I want to make it bend the other way it'll like pop and you you just can't bend multiple directions you lose you lose it it only bends one way so everything has to be kind of like a straight curve um, and so when you're up on the top where it's got a curve and then a curve this way you're having to do all these little pie cuts and whatever just figuring it out to make it hold the shape uh, looks much better than this I love this, and I'm going to run it and see, I guess, how long this cast manifold will will last. But this took hours and hours and hours. Um, had to have been at least six hours to do this one manifold. And I used one and a half sheets of this. Uh, it was 20 inches by 12. So, um, and that's that stuff's very hard to find in America. It's available in Europe. Australia, New Zealand, but not, not in America so much. Everything, DEI, heat shield products, all the stuff on Amazon, it's all going to be this aluminum stuff, which super easy to shape and install, but, you know, it doesn't look as nice. And everything, all these seams, you have to do little spot welds all the way around. Um, and then up at the top tacked it to the cast manifold itself. Um, I think the regular manifold, we'd probably be able to uh, get it to bond pretty easily. But on a cast manifold, I had to use the TIG welder and put little um, kind of blobs of mild steel so that it could attach to it. Um, anyway, that's that's what I got going on. and. Just want to put that info out there to maybe help somebody, maybe save them some time. This, you know, if you're looking just for results, this is super easy. Um, but if you're going for looks, you know, obviously that, that looks nice. Um, I think on a turbo turbine housing, you'd probably want this or you have to order it from Europe. They do sell in canal for even higher heat handling. Uh, but yeah, that's it for now.